So, a number of people have asked me about my connected home and the media servers and media renderers I use, so I thought I'd give you a quick tour around what I've got and then show you how I control them. So, uh, first things first, uh, this is the uh, Advent Vega tablet and I use that as the control point for my media servers and also all my um, media players. Panning out, you've got the lounge television with the Western Digital WDTV, which is also UPnP compliant, so it can be controlled from the tablet. Panning around, we have a Philips Streamium SLA5520 media player, which is attached to a set of uh, JBL Creature speakers. And that's the audio system that's in the lounge as well. So I've got the WDTV for uh, video and the Philips for audio. If you come to the kitchen, I have a Philips Streamium um, NP3900, which is a really nice quality music player. Um, really good quality, sounds very much like the Bose systems. So that provides audio in the kitchen. In the bedroom for uh, video, we have another Western Digital TV hooked up to a 32 inch Samsung television. Also in the bedroom, we have a Philips um, UPnP alarm clock. Uh, which I got second hand a couple of weeks ago and is turning out to be quite good uh, with a few limitations and that provides the music and audio books and also my alarms for the morning it's quite good being woken up in the morning with the music from your media server um, blasting out at you finally music in the uh, studio or computer room is provided by another Philips Streamium device uh, I think it's a WKS6050 um, which is quite a nice all-in-one device and over on the other side of the computer room uh, is where the media servers are. So there's a QNAP2092 there, which serves the audio books, uh, music and pictures, and a D-Link Share Center, which serves the TV. So the QNAP's got uh, two one terabyte drives in, and the uh, D-Link's got two two terabyte drives in. They're all Samsung drives. And then there's uh, another drive just at the bottom there, which is a backup drive for all of that. And then there's the router that controls the media network. So what I'm going to show you now is hopefully how I use my tablet to control all these media devices and stream music and video all over the house. So let me just my tablet back up and unlock it. Um, I use a free piece of software. Um, it's an Android tablet, so very little of it I actually pay for. So here we go. Um, this is a plugin called Twonky. And I hope you can see that, but it's currently showing me um, the video server. So. I get to choose what servers I want. You can see my two media servers there. You can see TV and you can see media server. So I'm going to pick TV first. You can see up in the top hand corner here, I can choose my renderer. It's got my alarm clock, audio lounge, music kitchen, play on Vacom, 6050 or WDTV. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send some music to one of my devices. So I'm going to pick media server and the device I'm going to pick is music in the kitchen. I'm just going to browse down to uh, a piece of music. Uh, there you go, Anderson Booth and Wakeman Howe. I do love my progressive rock. And I'm going to choose. Uh, mm, good question. I'm going to choose the meeting. And then we're going to go into the kitchen. And with any luck. You can see that it's just started playing. I now come back to the tablet. You can see here we are. So I can up the volume. And I can turn it down again. There we go. It takes a few seconds for the UPnP commands to be received by the media end. And if I want to stop it, there we go, and the media render will shut itself down. Now let's try and send that same song to another media renderer. So let's go audio lounge and go meeting, and hopefully any second now, you can see the little play icons appeared. So I should be able to turn up the volume. It's a bit quiet, isn't it? Mm. 
Now, if I get this right. You should be able to see the volume slider move on here as I zoom this. So there we are, stopped it, and let's play again. There we go. Let's turn it down a bit. There we go. Let's stop that. There we go. <coughs> so let's send my piece of music to the spare room. So let's just go to the spare room. And there's the Philips. There we go. So let's just pick. Uh, Wax, which is a 60-50. Let's pick Birthright. You notice the centre will come on. It'll find it. I actually picked Meeting, but there we go. And you can see I can... Control the volume. Finally, I'm going to send some video to the Western Digital. So, the next thing, first thing to do, pick video, choose a source. I'm going to send some TV. Choose my renderer, which is not going to be the media renderer. It's just going to be the WDTV. And I'm going to drill my way into folders. Um, I'm not going to pick fancy, I'd rather pick science fiction. Uh, Babylon 5, Season 1, Episode 1. And hopefully, any second soon, that should send an instruction through to the WDTV. And there it goes. So I've just streamed the video. To the Western Digital. So if I just put this back down here so you can see, you can see it's now playing that. If I go back, and I can choose a different one. So let's pick a comedy. Let's pick uh, Father Ted. We will like a bit of Father Ted. Father Ted series one. Good luck, Father Ted. As you can see now, there you go. So let's just stop that for a minute. There we go. It's now stopped. So as you can see, by using the Tonky software on my tablet and the combination of Philips Media and Audio Renderers and the WDTV, I can take any piece of audio from my media servers and any video and stream it to any compatible device in the flat. Uh, you can also do it with pictures as well and WDTV does uh, support that, but uh, I generally don't bother with pictures. Um, so I hope that helps, that shows how uh, how my flat is connected um, by using the Advent Vega tablet uh, running uh, Vega Comb, uh, Tonky media server and media software on the tablet, and then the various uh, Philips and WDTV media renders scattered throughout the house.